We created that request class in order to encapsulate the data available to us when the HTTP request is received by our application. Now what we want to do is create a sibling class and that will be a response class and that will be comprised of three main parts. It will be the content, the status and also the headers, i.e. all the information which gets sent back with the HTTP response. And so let's think about how we'd like this to look. So here, instead of echoing hello world, we'll set this as our actual content. So part of our response content. And then what we want to do is create a uh, response object. So obviously we haven't created a class yet, but let's just write out the code how we'd like to use it. And that is usually a good way to guide you. So response equals new, and we'll create a response class and let's think about those pieces of data that we just mentioned we spoke about content so let's create a named argument there this will receive the content and then we said status so again we'll do the same thing there and we'll just assume that this is going to be a 200 response and then also we'll say headers and here we'll just start off with an empty array and keep life simple for the time being and then what we want to do is send back that response. So again, using the similar kind of interface as what's used by the Symfony HTTP Foundation and the same way as what both Symfony and Laravel send back a response, we're just gonna call a method on that called send, which means that we now need to go over to our framework folder and inside the HTTP folder where we created the request class, what we'll do is we'll now create a response class to go along with that. Okay, so the first things I need to check is that the namespace is correct here, so that looks correct to me. Gary Clark Framework HTTP, and then we know what our constructor is going to look like because we've already established that in our index.php file. So we need content, status, and headers. And I'm going to make all of these private. So private string will also allow null, I think. But we'll default it to an empty string. And then we need the status code. So the HTTP status code is what I mean by that. And we'll default this to 200. And then we want an array of headers. Again, we'll default that to an empty array. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is create that send method for actually sending back this response. So public function send and I'm actually going to make this void because what we're going to do here is we're actually going to echo this content and that means that that should be what gets sent to the browser or sent to the client. Back in our index.php we just need to make sure that we are using the response which we just created so Gary Clark framework HTTP and what I'll do is I shall simplify this. So if we scroll to the top there, all I've done there is I've just created a use statement to pull that in. And I think in order to mix this up a bit, what we'll do is we'll actually make this a H1. So H1, then again, we'll go with hello world. Close the H1. And then if we go to our browser and refresh, we now see a heading of Hello World. So again, we've got a really nice useful object there. We've encapsulated all the data which is needed to be sent back to the client all in one place. We don't have to go looking for it from separate arrays or variables here, there and everywhere. We can just call properties on this response object. I'm just gonna finish off by importing this. So in the same way as I just did with response, I've simplified the FQN there, so we are using the request and we are using the response.